Chain Chomp Fever. This is a pretty simple one, but it's also kind of a risky choice, but I'm not, I wasn't comfortable with either minigame to be honest, so we'll have to see how this goes. So all we have to do is dodge Chain Chomps, uh, charging like that, and also worry, uh, dodge the flames shedding out of the floor. So keep an eye on the cracks on the ground, um, try to like not stand directly above them, and also try to move. You can also fall off the sides as uh, Chain Chomp breaks away the arena. Waluigi's out, which is great because he has a lamp. Um, if also, Chain Chomp can immediately dash again if there isn't a wall to stop him, uh, so be careful about that also. So yeah, just watch out for the fire, don't fall off the edge, and try to be the last one standing. I'm surprised this one didn't come back in, like, Superstars, um, but I feel like there were other minigames that were similar, like, concept, so it makes sense. That was honestly the best case scenario, because even if Waluigi just got second place, he would still have very close to enough to get the star. Oh good, we're on an opposite team from Waluigi. Right or left? I remember this being one of the last mini games I played in this, uh, because this was not in the easy set of mini games, which I usually used uh, when I was younger. Stop! So basically, we have to paddle this boat themed around Dory from. Uh, Mario 64, uh, the B button controls the left paddle, which makes the boat go right. Uh, the A button controls the right paddle, that makes the boat go left. Pressing both buttons together moves forward. Again, this game really likes button mashing for some reason. Um, not a lot of control stick spinning, which, you know, if you played the older Mario Party games, that's a relief. Um, button mashing is easier in general than control stick spinning, and again, like, this controller is very loud, so, um, both are not exactly quiet tasks. There's also, like the last minigame of Domination, there's a special award for killing this in 45 seconds. I'm pretty sure most of the minigames that have record times have like a special secret time that unlocks something. We'll talk about that later. One thing I notice a lot in some minigames more than others is slight slowdown, and I'm wondering why, because it could just be that this is a 2002 GameCube game and wasn't the most optimized game, um, but alternatively, it could just be that this GameCube is, like, old. Um, oh good, another battle minigame. And Waluigi has no coins, so this is not the best case scenario here. Hope it's a low number. It is not a low number. <laughs> I like how it's the same too, and Waluigi picked the opposite, so we didn't get a repeat at least. Butterfly Blitz. This one's fun, but kind of challenging. Star! So all we have to do is catch butterflies. So you have B for a horizontal swing, A for a vertical swing. 
Uh, I actually don't know which is better. I think it's situational, because some are flying higher than others. Uh, each butterfly is worth different amounts of points, so red butterflies are worth 2 points, blue butterflies are worth 3 points. Um, yellow are worth only 1, if I'm not mistaken. Clearly this is not going great, and there are 50 coins on the line. Most of them are my coins, which I'm not thrilled by, to be honest. Um, especially because, like, Waluigi and DK have, like, no coins going into this, so they have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Um, so I'm trying to actually play uh, fairly competitively. Um, I feel like in mini games when it's like five coins, I don't care as much, but when it's a full 50 and most of the coins are mine, I definitely feel a little bit more like inspired to play super well. I have no clue how well I'm doing. I usually don't play this mini game to be honest. Definitely was not a great profit of six coins, but hey, we didn't lose any, so that was good. And Waluigi didn't gain any, so that was also good. My biggest question is can we get to the star naturally before Waluigi gets enough coins to just warp there? I would like to try to get the star, but I don't know how well this is going to work out. Uh, lucky minigame. Oh, it's a lucky minigame. It's a chance to earn more coins than a minigame. Here, I'll spin the wheel. Ooh, yay! In this minigame, you'll win twice the, n the amount of coins. So, um, let's get started with this minigame. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, making waves is very much in the favor of the one, but I'll do my best to keep Waluigi from getting the star. Star! So basically, you can move the little um, platform you're on and ground pound. Um, if you can ground pound in unison, uh, you'll send a larger wave. Which is obviously better. Uh, it's hard to time that with the AI though. Um, like, yeah, I was totally not ready for them to do that. I am actually amazed that that happened. I normally see the one player win that, so that was good. I also think we're pretty much locked in for the coin star. Um, minigame is actually kind of weird this time because we actually have gotten so many team minigames. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot of coins have been passed around through battle minigames also. Uh, but I think I have both coin and minigame. And happening, I have all three. Um, unless someone else lands on the happening space. Um, it's really easy to track happening in particular. Do we have- oh good. I was like, do we have another battle minigame? Because I really would prefer not having to risk all of my coins again. Um, I thought you got Bowser for a moment. I don't know if that'd be good or bad right now. It could be either, really. Um, also missed the battle space barely. Very good. And another four-player minigame. Next up is Manta Rings. This one's actually really fun. Stop! 
So basically, we have to swim through as many rings as possible. Uh, there will be like clear rings that will give us one point, and gold rings that will give us more than one point. Um, those are much rarer though. You can mash A to swim faster to basically get ahead of everyone, to get through the rings a little bit faster. Bloopers and other enemies will pop up and you'll lose points. Uh, bloopers will cause you to lose one point, but there are also sharks and eels that make you lose more points than that, so be careful. Um, you don't really have the button mash. Um, you can't just swim along automatically, uh, but if you want the gold rings, you might have to swim a little bit faster to get ahead of your uh, competition. Um, overall, yeah, the eel makes you lose three points instead of just one. Alright, so far so good. We have more coins than everyone else combined. Something else that stands out about this game... Um... Oh cool, Bowser. Uh, Bowser can do all sorts of things. Um, first of all, Bowser might not even show up. It could be Koopa Kid instead. So Koopa Kid will generally steal coins, that's fine, because... Oh, he stole coins from everyone, but also I have 113 coins even after losing 20, so I'm fine with that. And that actually helps, because that means everyone is set back, but obviously I have lost a few... I have still have so many coins um, stocked up that wasn't as big of a, a loss as it could have been. Um, I'm debating what to do, depending on... Oh good, another battle minigame. We've been getting so many battles. Well, if my memory serves me, you're a good old Yoshi. Well, I'll be... Wanna give me t uh, five coins to take you over the river? You don't say. Now that's just too bad. It's battle game time. Let's see how much it will cost to play. One has collected 27 coins. That's great. Oh wait, you're a little you're still a little short. But we'll let it slide this time. Let the battle begin. I feel like we've seen this minigame a lot, but it's the one I'm really good at, and the chain chomp one is a little bit more variable. Now, in all fairness, now that I think about it, I actually don't know how much I've seen this minigame uh, on recording, because I did record about half of Toad's Midway Madness uh, before having to restart the recording. Um, so I'm actually not sure how much this came up in the actual final recording. Um, yeah, a couple of minigames that came up in that recording were actually coming up in this board for the first time, and it's kind of throwing me off because I thought I'd played, like, Making Waves already, but that was in the uh, failed recording. Um, yeah, this is just a one I'm very confident in. Uh, again, if I have a choice in Superstars, I'll usually pick this one. I actually don't remember if there are many opportunities to actually directly pick what minigame you play in Superstars. Um, I'm really hoping that's actually bad, Waluigi got there first. So he's about halfway to a star, but uh, we might still be able to get there in time. Alternatively, there could be a ton more battle games that actually cause him to lose more coins. Oh, parasailing. Probably the worst case scenario right about now, uh, because everyone gets coins from this. Stop! 
I'll be honest, I'm happy to be the one not driving the boat this time. <laughs> I definitely prefer the actual, um, like, sailing, or the the other role, not the driving the boat. Um, it actually occurs to me, I'm really worried about this magic lamp. I don't think it'll matter, unless I get really bad luck. Uh, if there's a magic lamp, or even a booze crystal ball in the shop, um, that's an avenue I could pursue. I could just steal the star. Uh, or, yeah, hope for a magic lamp and just get one immediately after Waluigi does. Um, there are two shops on this board, so that does make it fairly easy to get um, items quickly. But there is no item star like in later games, so you don't have to use a ton of items. This feels like a weirdly low coin game for the AI, but I have 150 coins somehow because of all the battles. 